keep the number 93 in mind. The next way that symbolism is used subversively is in architecture. So this is the pyramid outside uh, of the Louvre, the art museum in Paris. And it is a symbol of a pyramid, upward pointing, male pyramid. And it is comprised of exactly 666 panes of glass. So again, the, the base consciousness in, is encoded into the shape, and you see uh, that the pyramid forms slightly off of a right angle, almost an exact right angle at the top, at its apex. Here we see the Arc de Triomphe in Paris, and we see from overhead, this arc is a solar symbol. You could see this as a, a, a point of male energy, these 12 streets, being the 12 houses of the zodiac, all conform, uh, converging on the Arc de Triomphe with the rays of the sun around it. Could look at this as the unification of the two pillars, the arch, the, the point in the middle where the two become one, and they join together the male and the female principles. We see the uh, masculine principle encoded in the, uh, um, in, in the Eiffel Tower. It is in three levels just like the three degrees of masonry. You have the, uh, the entered apprentice, the fellow craft, and the master mason, the three levels of the, of the um, uh, Eiffel Tower. It is illuminated at light, and it is a phallic symbol. The illuminated pyramid at the Louvre. At the uh, base of the Louvre, underneath, uh, if you go underneath this pyramid, the hermetic principle is encoded by a downward pointing pyramid over top of an upward pointing one, where spirit and matter joining together, as above, so below. Here we see St. Peter's Square, the Vatican, and we see the sun god, uh, the cross of the zodiac and the great cross of the, uh, the galaxy. Uh, at St. Peter's Square, and we have the phallic symbol of Osiris, the obelisk in the middle, uh, Osiris being uh, a sun god in Egyptian cosmology. The pentagram in, uh, the, the pentagon being the central part of a inverted pentagram uh, encoded into Washington, D.C., the heart of the inverted pentagram. The Pentagon being the, uh, the, the, the center of defense intelligence for the United States, where war is planned, human sacrifice. We see uh, from overhead in Washington, D.C., this right here is the White House. And then north of the White House, we see an inverted, skewed pentagram with one broken arm. Now, this is a very clear example of what is known as the pentagram of pacts in dark occultism. The pentagram of pacts is inverted because it is satanic or it is thrusting the spirit downward. It is often skewed, representing that which is really out of alignment or proportion. So it is usually skewed in one form or another, either stretched or squashed. In this case, it is kind of squashed downward. And we also have a broken arm. And a broken arm in a pentagram represents a pact that has not yet been fully completed or fulfilled. So uh, that which is promised has not yet been delivered because a work is still in progress. And I think we can understand the meaning of that broken arm by understanding what the pentagram of pacts represents. So um, it is not that they simply uh, didn't, weren't able to complete that in some way. It is intentionally left broken. And this is one of the arguments against it, it, it actually being an occult symbol. Well, if it was occult leaders that made it, could they not have completed the last arm? They did not want to complete the last arm. It is intentionally made to be a pentagram of packs, and that arm is left broken for a very specific occult reason. The uh, phallic symbol of Osiris encoded as the Washington Monument, a male symbol of phallic energy. It's in direct alignment with the symbol of the feminine energy, which is Congress. Congress being another word for sexual union. Congress. 
And uh, the Congress building is the feminine principle. It's the dome of the feminine breast with the goddess statue of Columbia or freedom atop the, uh, the, the dome representing the feminine energy. And it is reflected in the water, the, the, the water being the, the, uh, the principle of the moon goddess, the goddess of the water. The, the moon's light is reflected in the waters at night. So um, this also encodes in this reflecting pool the hermetic principle as above, so below, as goes on in consciousness in the, uh, the, uh, the, the earth is reflected from the heavens, reflected in the uh, external experience that we have. Uh, other sexual symbols were phallic symbols seen in, uh, in the layout of Washington, D.C. Uh, here we have the Washington Monument. Here we have the uh, uh, Lincoln Memorial, which is a temple to the king. Uh, it's, it's a reflection of Osiris the king uh, ruling as uh, the, uh, the, the, over the dominions of church and state, as we saw with uh, Lincoln in his king's chamber, so to speak, holding uh, 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 the, the, the symbol of the fasci on, on both his left and right hand while seated upon his throne. And uh, if we look at the street system that connects these two monuments, we just make a red, we can make a red outline of, of the street system around these two monuments and just fill in that area. And that is what it looks like. It is clearly a phallic symbol. That is directing male energies encoded into the actual layout of the streets. Uh, people who believe in this system of geomancy, or tapping the energy of the earth through the types of lines that you place upon the earth, uh, believe that this is directing male and female energies in certain ways and in certain proportions. So you have the feminine egg here next to the male phallus. This is called the ellipse on the uh, south side of the White House. Again, Lincoln holding the Fasci, the symbol of the fasces is the symbol of uh, Roman, uh, Roman centralized authority in, uh, encoded in the, the, uh, the uh, central uh, axe around which is the bundle of rods or staffs. Now, east of that uh, Washington Monument uh, phallic symbol, we have a 13 level pyramid. Again, 13 on the back of the dollar bill, a solar number, the sun and the 12 houses of the zodiac, with the 14th level being the unification of the earth, air, water, and fire culminating at the 14th level of the pyramid. One plus four is five. So you have the earth, air, wa earth, air water, fire, and spirit unified at the top level of the pyramid. So here we have a 13 level pyramid with the capstone missing, and around the streets, around the this is the Congress building, the, the, the Capitol building. Around the, the streets, the path that creates the streets, going all the way around the Capitol building forms an image of an owl that sits atop this 13-level pyramid with the capstone cut off in the street system of Washington, D.C. If we trace the pyramid and then we trace two streets that shoot off from near the top of the pyramid, we see that there is a Freemasonic compass and square encoded into the layout of the streets as well. I'll take that off and do it one more time for you to see where those streets are. Here's a close-up of it. There's the owl. I'm removing it and then putting it back so you can clearly see the layout. This image was taken from Google Earth. And the owl, again, is that uh, Babylonian deity that the Ammonites worshipped. They worshipped, they uh, often worshipped it as Molech. And here it surrounds the sacred feminine. Again, it's the same principle as codified in the cremation of care ritual. The, uh, the, the sacred feminine of conscience, of care, is being sacrificed to the Babylonian owl slash bull god, Molech. It's in the belly of the beast. And overhead, above 
this complex here where the alloys and the, and the, uh, the capital layout, we see the seal of Solomon encoded into the street plan, representing the feminine aspect that, end, that ends at um, the capital building, the feminine, okay? And then the male aspect ends at this place right here, which is known as Lincoln Park. And Lincoln Park is a resonator for Lincoln, who sits in the king's chamber, the male principle. So you have the queen or the goddess's building, and then you have Lincoln Park here, which is a, a, a representation of the male energy, and it's a it's a it's a symbolic correlation to Lincoln's name, who sits in the king's chamber at the Lincoln Memorial. This is the entire occult layout of Washington, D.C., and there's even more in this layout, uh, which I don't have time to go into, but studying the, the, uh, the uh, occultic orientations of the layouts of the street systems of many cities is very interesting, and there's all kinds of symbology encoded into it. It could be a presentation in and of itself.